In the first day, we set up with a crew and discussed different solutions to perform the project with 5D and Mitre drones. Today, we're going to make several flights with the MD3000 LiDAR DL. At the final, uh, produce digital train models that we can check for settlements, uh, especially in the surrounding areas around the, the pit. We will need to make two different flights because of the large height variations. We want to take the surrounding spots to fly and get a dense point cloud and footage of it. And then we need to take a second flight at lower altitude to get more coverage. We are pretty ready for the flight. We have put up a ref local reference station here. It's a huge advantage to do the LiDAR scanning because we have full coverage, even the vertical areas in the big pit where it's very dangerous to climb on and very hard to reach otherwise. Okay guys, there's a helicopter coming there. We, we should keep an eye on Whoa. that one. Yeah. You have flight radar ready? Or should yeah. I take flight radar? Yeah, let's yeah. see. Okay. So on his way to the hospital, must be that. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah, yeah it's on 1,500 feet, so there should be no problem. But we need to keep an eye on yeah. that during the flight, if that helicopter coming again. Of course. What we actually do now, before moving on to the next location, is here on site, taking the USB aplonics and the SD card from the camera and the scanner to check that everything is fine and everything has been collected and captured here on site. So we are going to move to the laptop and just check that everything is fine. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. I think we should pack up and move to the next site. What do you think, guys? That sounds like a good idea. Okay. We're done. Let's go for it. My name is Marit Berlin Eriksson from Sweco here in Falun. Today we're at the Falun mine. Uh, we have a project here where we are responsible for the safety both underground in the mine and above ground. The mine has a long history. From the 13th century until 1992, the mine has been mined with different mining methods. The visitor's mine isn't so far from the open pit. So we need to make sure that the visitor's mine is safe. So now we're down in the visitor's mine in a room called Amelia. Uh, this is actually one of the rooms with the most uh, rock reinforcement in it. And that's because it has the least uh, rock cover of the rooms and it's quite high and it has a pillar here on our left side, a pillar to another room. Now we're standing where one of the shafts that were used back then. I think it all, not only was for the materials but also for the workers. It was really dangerous and these tunnels we see here didn't collapse back then like the Great Pit but it could have and hopefully it doesn't collapse now when we are down here. So, could you even imagine how it was to work here back then? A really hard work. Look at the size of this pit. Yeah, and everything is handmade too, and, and handcraft tools and everything. Oh, look down there. You can even go further, further down there, but it's really dark. I don't think I want to go there. So hard work. We're really heavy. Should we continue our work? Yeah, I think so. This was the last stop, so let's move on. Yeah. Thank you. 